Parsha Shemos begins the Shibud, the subjugation of the Jewish people, and the actual beginning of that enslavement starts with the Pesach, Vayakam Melechodesh, Amitzrayim, a new king came over the land of Egypt, Asher Lo Yodas Yosef, who did not know Yosef. Now Rashi brings down that actually this is a machlokis in the Gemara, and there are two opinions. What does it mean, a new king who didn't know Yosef? Does it mean literally, Rav says, <coughs> Rav and Shmuel once said, Chodesh Mamish, not literally a new king. So the other says, no, it's not a new king. Same old king, but because the Jewish problem is now becoming an issue, therefore he made new decrees, and effectively he's acting like a new king. In any case, the very next Rashi says, when the words of the Pazak says, Ashallo Yodda, who didn't know, also Atzmo Kilo Yodda, he made himself as if he know, didn't know. And the Mephorshim explained what Rashi is explaining to us is, according to the man who holds that it's the very same king, same king, but just made new decrees, what do you mean he didn't know Yosef? He certainly knew Yosef, he was the king, he just realized he had this Jewish problem and now made new decrees. To that Rashi answers, also well, he made himself into a state, he put a state of illusion, so to speak, as if he didn't know Yosef. One of my rabbis made the interesting observation that why, why do you need this entire subterfuge? Why do you need this whole rewriting of history? He has a situation as follows. The Jewish people are becoming, multiplying, they're becoming very, very great, and they're becoming a threat to his monarchy. At that point, strategically, he realizes the wisest thing to do is to enslave them. Now, if that's true, why does he have to go through this process of making himself as if he didn't know Yosef, rewriting history, erasing Yosef from his mental memory? What does he need that for? And the explanation to that is that one of the very basic human elements is a concept called Akar Satov, recognizing the good. The reality is that Yosef saved Mitzrayim. Yosef not only saved Mitzrayim, he built this nation up to be the powerhouse of the region, the most wealthy, most powerful nation in the entire civilized world at the time. He was not just a savior, but he did a tremendous amount to help Mitzrayim be who it now was. And the key benefactor of that was Paro. Because that was the situation, Paro felt a very real overwhelming sense of deep regard and deep appreciation to Yosef. Here are Yosef's children, his people. How could he enslave them? How could he hurt them when this is the forefather of them is the person who greatly helped them? Yosef is the man who made his kingdom. How could I pay back bad tachas in the place of good? And this concept of this very basic element of the human, of Akar Satov, is such that it is very difficult for a human being not to pay back good for good. And in fact, what Paro had to do was he had to eradicate history. He had to rewrite it in his own mind. He had to pretend as if there was no Yosef. There is no debt. I owe nothing to him. Because if he didn't eliminate that part of history, he would have been unable to pay back bad <coughs> for the good because he would have felt this tremendous sense of regret. How could I pay back? These, this is the person who helped me out. How could I hurt his children and such? And this concept that Rishonim explained to us is one of the very basic underpinnings, not just of human nature, but of all of our Vodas Hashem. Ideally, a person should train himself to see the tremendous chesed Hashem. A person should attune himself to the tremendous amount of goodness that Hashem showers upon me. And that should be one of the key driving forces in my serving Hashem, the sense of Akar Satov, the sense of appreciation. Once I get it, once I see how much Hashem does to me, then naturally I'm going to, going to want to pay back. Naturally I'm going to want to serve Hashem. And that is one of the great catalysts in allowing a person to properly serve Hashem. Achatzlacha.